Hello everyone, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. This is another food review, in case you're wondering. And where am I today? One well, other than Duncan. Apostrophe. That's right, Duncan. Apostrophe. That's the only name of the place. So today, um, before I get into this, I'm going to do a small rant. This is not about Duncan specifically. This is about technology specifically. So, like most people, I have a phone charger in my car. And as it happens in the winter, it's cold out. And what will you do when you're cold in your car? We you turn on the heat. Um, and typically, I'll turn on the heat with the um, defrost setting make sure any frost is melted out the windows, any fog is removed from the windows, etc. Um, <coughs> bless me. Anyway, uh, my charger is one that's mounted so I can put my phone on it. It holds it in. It charges by contact. So I have like my map in front of me if I need it. Um, my music I can just tap 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 and get it going off my phone whatever and also it's good for recording while I'm in the car well when I have the heat on because it's hot the defrost comes this way rolls off the top of the the car panel and that's where my phone is so my phone is charging the screen is on for the map and I have the uh, defrost hot air blowing around towards it, which makes the phone get warm. And I start getting these errors that say contact charging has stopped because the phone is too hot. So it'll stop charging. I'm like, okay, that's fine. It's at like 90%, it's not going to die. Um, and if that's going to help it from getting too warm, that's fine. But then like two seconds later it starts the contact charging again and then two seconds after that it gives me the error so now i have this like stream of notifications on my phone saying it stopped it stopped it stopped it stopped it stopped because of the heat um it just seems like the threshold of like where it's too hot and where it's hot and cool enough to start it are too close together and like if it's going to stop because it's too hot it should wait till it gets greatly reduced in heat before it starts up again or else you're going to get this constant it is too hot it's now because of the charger it's heating up so it's going to stop and then it cools down a little bit and it's just annoying and then at some point it gets so hot that the phone decides to turn off completely and my phone turned off completely just moments before I was going to review this food in the car like I wanted to do but that didn't happen and I would like to say because of that there were one and a half casualties to this review that I will explain once and once I get there in said review anyway on to the review what did I get at Dunkin Donuts well, Duncan is uh, currently obsessed with making things mini. And I had, well, I had three mini things, but now I only have two that I'm going to show you and review. And this is not the only mini things they have. They've had some other stuff that are mini as well. But let's get it on. First things up, we have mini omelets. And you get a two pack of mini omelets. They look like little egg donuts, basically. And you can get either egg white and chive, or what I got was bacon and cheddar. Uh, it has like a waxy ish feel to it. Inside is a little bit lighter than the exterior. Smell like bacon, looks good to taste. The exterior 
skin of the egg. A little tough and a little off putting. Starbucks has something similar to this. They have these things called sous vide egg bites. And those are actually like more, let's say, consistently moist all the way through. And I think that's because like they are so they're wrapped in a, a plastic and submerged in hot water which was what a sous vide is um, which gives it a very gentle uh, heat and it holds the moisture in well I think what Duncan does is they put these through their little uh, toaster microwave thing which dries off this like it's the skin part of it so the interior is nice We have to get through this like off-putting skin. Is all I can really describe it as. Would not order again. I'm gonna move them away. Next up, we have mini pancake bites, and they give you a Mrs. Butterworth's cup of original syrup. Which, by the way, is not maple syrup. It is corn. It is high fructose corn syrup. It has flavored to resemble the flavor of maple syrup. Um, another thing, like this, is a little, a little tough. It's not like really pliable, like a good pancake should be. Let's dunk it and give it a taste. Again, it's tough. No, the toughness probably a little bit has to do with the fact that I wasn't able to stop and review it when I wanted to, and I had to get home to this camera to get it on film. But like, it wasn't too long for me to get home. Really cardboardy. It makes me cry. Not good, not good at all. There's no flavor in the pancake itself. No really smell to it. At least the eggs smelled like bacon and the middles were were good. It had a good bacon cheesy flavor. This one it has no smell. And by itself has no flavor. It's tough, and it's really just a way to get syrup into your body. So far, Duncan is 0 for 2. Now, as I said, there was one casualty, and that was the mini bagels stuffed. And that's not the correct order to say those words. I think it's stuffed mini bagels or mini stuffed bagels one of those two are correct now I've reviewed this one before they had the everything bagel and they had a plain bagel but now they have a new one that's a chive and onion flavor that's what I tried I actually really liked it um, and it was significantly hotter than everything I've tried here so far uh, so that's probably one thing uh, going for it so if you're going to get any th these things from Duncan, which so far I don't recommend either one of those two, I do recommend the the mini bagel bites. I had those before. I liked them. I like this one too. When they are hot, they were really good. Uh, although hot cream cheese is kind of weird, 
it's really the only way to eat it uh, with without getting the bagel too tough to bite through and, and really eat. So I guess what I'm saying is I prefer just a toasted bagel with cream cheese on it over the mini bagels, but I will say that I did enjoy the mini bagels. The other two things I have here today, this is the half casualty, as you can see I did drink some of it. This is the winter blend, they're new uh, in their series of like seasonal coffee flavors. I got it iced with cream and sugar. And you know what? That tastes like coffee. If you were looking for a coffee that tastes like coffee, the winter blend will be all right for you. Now I have one last thing that I got from Duncan, and did you know that a place called Duncan Apostrophe, you wouldn't be able to tell by the name of the, of the company, they sell donuts. Maybe they should incorporate donut into their name somehow, so you know what they sell. But this is the Stroop Waffle Donut, which appears just to be a chocolate frosted, this is the frosting got messed up just by moving around the bag with the mini stroop waffle. Like I said, they're obsessed with many things. You get a mini stroop waffle on your stroop waffle donut. Now I'm gonna taste the donut first just to see if there is something other than just chocolate frosting on here. It's a nice pillowy donut. It's not tough or anything. It seems fresh. It smells sweet. I can't tell that that's anything different than just chocolate frosting. But we get this mini stroop waffle with it. Let's see if their stroop waffles are any good. Actually, it is a pretty good stroop waffle. It is lightly crisp. The uh, syrupy center has like a cinnamony, molasses y flavor to it. Uh, if you don't know what a stroop waffle is, it's basically they make these little really thin waffle things kind of similar to if you were making a waffle cone for an ice cream cone <laughs> except they make it into the little circles they cut it and really thinly slice it down the the center line to create an opening and they slather on this really thick syrupy molassesy honey like uh, syrup I'm not exactly sure what's in it but uh, this one definitely tastes like it has some kind of cinnamon. And then they sandwich it back together and they serve it like that. Uh, a lot of European countries have these. But the exterior has nice crispiness to it, a light crispiness to it. That center part has a sweetness, but also that cinnamony spice to it it's really enjoyable and then you get to eat a chocolate donut so you can't really complain about that so overall more things that I liked that I didn't the mini bagels the stoop waffle donut and the winter bun coffee I'll get approves for me. However, the mini pancakes and the mini omelets, they get two thumbs down. Do not recommend. 
uh, and I will not be trying them again in uh, any future additional flavors or forms unless I don't know maybe they say they're new and improved or something and I'll, I'll see if that's the case but if it's just a new flavor of all those not gonna try them again and I'm not recommending them to any of the people who are watching right now anyway that's the end of this extensive Duncan review Duncan apostrophe sorry um, and that's it don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment below if you tried any of these things or for any other reason you want to leave a comment please do so and I guess that's it we'll see you on the next one bye